So you've picked your flooring style, and now it's time to fill in the gaps for the other pieces to the project. So let's talk about underlayments and how do you pick the right one for the job. So in choosing a flooring underlayment, not all are created equal. In fact, not all are universal for the type of subfloor you have. Now, while concrete subfloors at or below grade have the potential for moisture emissions, most wood subfloors above grade are really just the opposite. And in general, work from the bottom side up first and always understand what your subfloor is and address its needs first before picking out the underlayment for your flooring. Concrete subfloors are porous. And no matter how old the slab is, they're always emitting a moisture vapor. Now, some concrete subfloors will emit more moisture than others, and this really depends on many environmental and geographical factors and water table conditions where the construction is located. Concrete with qualifying moisture generally releases it as a vapor. It remains a vapor until it encounters an obstacle that causes it to form droplets or liquid. And there are ways to test concrete moisture levels. So check out the links in the notes to our other information and videos on that. But in general, when planning to install a flooring material over concrete, a proper vapor barrier is required in order to keep harmful moisture from damaging the overlying floor. So make certain your choice of underlayment lowers the rate of water vapor transmission to an acceptable rate to protect the flooring choice. If you're installing over a conditioned room on a second story where moisture isn't a cause for any of the mentioned concerns, then finding an underlayment with little to no moisture protection is just fine. After understanding any moisture concern the subfloor brings to the project, other considerations for picking out the right underlayment comes down to aesthetics and performance attributes that might be important for the living environment the flooring may reside in. Now, having a dense material like the recycled materials found in the Quiet Walk family of products blanket the underside of the flooring offering noise control, making the floor feel more solid underfoot and helps floating floors act and perform like fastened wood floors. It will also properly support the joints of the floor and won't crush over time due to normal traffic the floor will endure. There are ways to understand how underlayment materials will endure under pressure. So check out the link in the notes below to our compression resistance video. Additionally, a second story and multifamily living environments might need a lab qualified underlayment under the floor like the QuietWalk products to help promote harmonious living spaces. All QuietWalk products are HOA recommended with independent lab testing available for sound control. There are many proclaimed universal types of underlayments on the market, and it's always important to address how the underlayment will first address and protect the subfloor concerns before moving on to the other attributes of the floor and installation. Starting from the bottom side up first is a good start to picking out the right underlayment for your new floor. MP Global has a great product selection tool if you have questions about our products or how to use them. And as always, give us a like if you like the content that you've seen or you like this video.